What is up guys? This is Armageddon and welcome back to the last day of the Hoenn event. We didn't do it, we, we failed. We didn't get the shiny crowd on. Countless raids, no shiny crowd on. We will get one trader to us, unfortunately, which that will have to be the case, but as I've been theorizing for the last god knows how long, the next legendary raid boss, releasing tonight at 9 o'clock, is Palkia. Enter a new dimension of raid battles with Palkia. A new arrival to raids will test your strength in 2019. The water slash dragon type po spatial Pokemon Palkia will join the raids across the world. From the January 29th today at 1pm PST, which is also 9 o'clock tonight, which means America get it first. To February 28th at 1pm, so that's an entire month. PST, what's more? January, obviously there's a time as Palkia will appear in raid battles. Don't miss this chance, but don't miss the chance to catch this legendary Pokemon before it returns to its own special dimension. Stay safe and happy exploring. Now that, that's gonna be hype. I, I swear this is gonna be hype, I swear. All right guys, so, so guys, day after the Hoenn event, shiny freaking Bulbasaur, let's go. Holy crap. Oh, hello. This is the first shiny Bulbasaur I've had outside of community day. Holy crap. Literally just the day after the Hoenn event start ended. This is a Bulbasaur nest. One, two, three, let's go. We've got another shiny Bulbasaur, guys. Holy crap. What a great way to start the day, man. Holy shit. What's the IVs on it? Ah, it's crap IVs, but that's amazing. Just a random shiny Bulbasaur to start the day. I was just literally just grinding, doing some little grinding, like a grind sesh. The Volpo, well, they've just got a grind sesh, and a freaking Bulbasaur pops up. Okay, what about guys? So, just a little while ago, I had two Aerodactyl missions. I popped both of them with a Slowpoke, uh, it involved a slow, slow King. And would you believe it? Shiny Aerodactyl. That's my second Shiny Aerodactyl. Second Shiny. Oh, that's three Shinies like, I've got on a video now. Uh, the last clip was probably the Bulbasaur clip, no doubt. So we're going to go for an Ultra Ball, and we're going to go for a Pineapple because he will never run away. Or she, him one, right, and this is a guaranteed 96% IV, 11.87, that's really close to the hundo. Two and three, there we go, into the ball. <clears throat> Not the first throw because I was demonstrating tank earlier, but there we go, shiny Aerodactyl in the bag, number two. And just to, just to guarantee it, just to, just to prove it, hit, attack, defense, best ever seen. That is an amazing Aerodactyl right there. We're going to put that 96% IV. Look at that beauty. Second Aerodactyl. So yeah. Now on with the grind. Alrighty guys, so we're starting off the day with a wild mill tank. First new mill tank I've ever seen in the wild. Right, I'm going to take an AR shot of this because what the fuck not. Waiting patiently by the road there, are you buddy? We're waiting at the bus stop, are we? I have never found a wild mill tank. It's the first ever mill tank I've ever found in the wild. So we're gonna golden raz him because I don't want to lose him and I'm gonna, well, should have probably ultra balled, but never mind. So yeah, so we're gonna go for that and then we're gonna go into the news that literally just dropped. We're just gonna be going over that in a second. We're gonna have a look at the IVs quickly and it is. There are terrible IVs, but still, it's just only the first ever mill tank I've ever caught. So, I mean, I've got a traded one, so yeah. Well, we just touched the Togo P off to get our camp by accident. We have a look at these. 359. Yeah, defense, not bad. We've got to, I forgot to I start recording like this year, so I picked up the egg by accident. Two. Oh, stand true. Meh. You know. I haven't seen a little island form in a while. 702. Is that any good? I mean, it is. Strong, as I thought. And finally, there should be a 5k egg? Oh, I guess not. Well, we have a 5k egg also, but. So. Obviously, there has been a bit of news drop. There's a lot of cast forms around. I wonder what that is. But so obviously, there's been a bit of a news drop. I'm going to really pineapple these for the mission. And the news drop is there's a huge new wave of Generation 4 Pokemon. And I mean huge. We have. Uh, let's see, we have. Obviously, we know that we are getting Mammoth Swine. Oops, hello. Luke. We have Mammoth Swine. We have uh, Gallade. 
uh, Tangela, Licky, Licky, or is it Licky Tongue? I can never remember which one it is. Um, who else do we have? We have Frostlass, finally, I can evolve my Frost, my Shiny Snow into Frostlass. Um, we have uh, Tangrowth, if I remember correctly. Um, we also have Gallade, I think I said Gallade, I'm not entirely sure. Um, we have some new uh, spawning Pokemon as well, such as uh, Glamial, which is uh, usually the cat Pokemon used by Team Galactic uh, in main core. Perugly, which is the bigger version. Cranidos and Rampardos, which are awesome rock types. I loved using them in main core. Shieldon and Bastiodon, which are also amazing rock types, rock steel types, mind you. We have got them. We also have, coming from eggs, Hapini, which is Chansey's pre-evolution, the baby version of Chansey. Uh, we also have uh, Bonsly, which is the rock-type Pokemon which evolves into pseudo Rudo. Um, and we also have, strangely enough, I don't know how they're going to pull this off, but Mr. Uh, Mime Jr. even, not Mime, Mr. Mime, Mime Jr., which is obviously the baby version of Mr. Mime. Now, as I was saying before in one of my previous videos, I don't know how they're going to do this because Mime, Mr. Mime is our regional and if that, if that regional gets taken over by, if that regional is then accessible by anyone, it's not really a regional anymore is it, to be honest? Like what's the point in having a regional if we can't actually, you know, we wouldn't have any specific regional to us, so unless they're in a new regional and making it regional specific to us, I don't know. Okay guys, so it, I also missed a few up, unfortunately. We also have Yan Mega from Yanma, and we also have Ambipom from Apom, which is one that I don't know where you require a Sinnerstone for, because I don't actually have an Apom spare. I think I keep just remo I keep transferring those unless they're good IVs, and I don't really get any good IV ones. Um, and I think that's all of the Sinnerstone evolutions so far. Um, but, it's still a nice, big, a nice new addition to the game. So, a lot of those we'll try to do. Have we got Magic Heart with any good IVs? 103, nah, never mind. But we'll be basically be trying to get as many synths as we can for those. Um, also, Mammoth Swine is now available to be evolved. This, for all of you who thought Mammoth Swine would be released on Community Day. No, you can evolve Mammoth Swine now, and... Um, but I'd say just save up because obviously you've got Community Day coming up and you'll want the specific move for it. Also, another addition to this um, update where is it was another stat rebalance for the raid bosses from the looks of it, where the raid bosses are now probably slightly more defensive and stronger. And also um, a new way to teach new Pokemon, like teach Pokemon new moves such as Rock Slide from a champ, which is pretty intriguing. Um, so. The whole thing is a huge update. We need to we need to start grinding, guys. So, yeah, this video is going to be part of the end of my shiny video. And yeah, happy hunting, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, guys. Another thing, I actually missed out a few new Pokémon for Sinnoh. Uh, we also have Combi and Vesper Queen, which oh, a Slugma which I'm actually interested to see whether they add in the fact that Combi has to be female to become a Vesper Queen. Who knows, maybe they will do that, maybe they won't. But they're also new ones that I've actually forgot to mention for some whole, for some reason. I don't know why they didn't pop up in my head, but yeah. So yeah, so that's two new ones to look forward to as well.